Hi guys, today I'm making a special episode on Scratch about how to make just a saving system, like nothing else. And we are going to go straight in with deleting the sprite and naming the project Saving System. This is going to be a really easy to do saving system. So yeah, let's jump right in. First of all, you're going to want to create a sprite called save and not to, and to mention, if you don't have cloud data, you can't really do this. So you probably get it, which means having an account for over three months on Scratch. But anyway, let's put S sign up. There we go. Get that inside of your button to make it look neat. Then what we're going to do is events when flag, when flag clicked, make a list, numbers. Okay. And make a list, letters. Okay. And we're going to make a variable and call it calculate. Okay. And after that's done, we're going to set calculate to zero. Then repeat nine times data change calculate by one add calculate to numbers okay okay pretty simple so far right as i said this isn't going to be super complicated or anything then we're going to put change calculate by one and we are going to do repeat let's see here about five times and as you can see in this list we have no zeros which is important you know and yep yeah, and now we're going to operators we are going to letter data well we're going to set calculate to zero first and we are going to do all the letters in the alph alphabet in from the first one to the last one Okay, and after you've got your letters, I haven't yet. Okay, so after you've got your letters, you're going to want to put in your numbers to nine. And zero. Then you're going to do, that is actually it. And we are going to do calculate, then repeat. Let's see here. Operators. Actually, data add this to letters. Change calculate by one. Repeat. Uh, we're just going to have to kind of guess it, knowing that the alphabet is like 27 and the numbers are 10. I'm just going to say 37. And hopefully, I get it right. Yeah, that was one too long, but that was a pretty good guess, I could say. And then we are going to delete all of letters and delete all of numbers. Still pretty simple. And delete it all. And then we'll add all of these. And you see we have all of that. Then we're going to do events when this sprite click. Sensing ask what's. Is your user name okay? And what we're going to want to do here is we are going to do repeat operators length of answer sensing answer. We will just drag that out here. Make a variable length. Okay. Then we are going to set length to zero up here, as you can see. Change length by one. And then we are going to do make the variable user name calculate. Okay. Just make that. Set username calculate to operators 
join. Well, we can't do that quite yet, but we can take it out and put in the username calculate here. Then we will repeat until data calculate, change, calculate by one. Okay, operator equals data calculate equals operators letter one of sensing answer actually letter one letter calculate letter length i mean sorry length of answer operator equals data item calculate of letters okay right now it doesn't so we change calculate by one and we are going to want to put an or here or what oh yes we are going to also want to change this to four because we have exactly 36 which is four times nine or let's see here data calculate is greater than 36. okay there we have it and this is just basically converting our answer into numbers okay and then we will put a if then boot thingy this is greater than that stop this script okay and we are going to want to set calculate to zero and set length to zero each time it's clicked and we are going to set username calculate to join and then operators uh letter actually no we are going to want to go into our data item of numbers data calculate of numbers okay so then when you click sign up i'm just going to put my name in okay so it went good except you can see that we have the zero here so what we're going to want to do set it to backspace each time this is clicked so you won't see any change when the flag is clicked but once you click it type in your name you can see that it just converts your name with no zero okay so now this is the part you're going to need your well to be officially recognized as a scratcher you're going to want to make a variable and check off the cloud click ok and then actually i forgot to name the thing so i'm naming it saves check off the cloud say ok there we go and it says currently only numbers are supported that's why we made this thing here set saves to operators join data saves and data username calculate and what we're going to want to do here is join username calculate and 10 zeros well actually 20 zeros one two three one two three one two so 20 yeah one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty okay so we are going to do that put that in here and now what we're going to do is we are going to make a small thing that checks for if the same username has already been entered so repeat data repeat until we need repeat until operators equals data make a variable check okay check equals operators length of saves okay control repeat until actually what we're going to 
want to do here as just a small precautionary thing that I do is we're going to add another zero onto here. Okay, repeat until, and we are going to put another loop in here. Duplicate this. Letter and drag out letter. Check of saves equals zero. Okay, there we go. Then what we're going to want to do is data change check by one, make a variable, and this is going to be password protect. Okay, set password protect to operators join data password protect and check. Then we're going to set password protect to backspace out here. And what we're going to want to do is change check by 20. One actually, actually by 20 for now, I think would be good. And control if then, we will drag that out. Operators equals password protect data password protect equals username calculate control stop this script. And this is kind of the first time I did the password protect thing. I've done saving systems a lot, but this is the first time I've done password protect. So we're just going to see if it works. And you'll see our saves don't really work out because the password protect spaz out. Okay. Check. Letter check of saves. Oh, we don't have anything in saves right now. So what we're going to want to do is we are going to drag out an if then, and then we will drag out a greater data operators length of saves is greater than one. Okay, so now what we're going to do is sign up, type in our username, then the saves, get it, and all. So, but we're going to also want to set saves to backspace, there we go, events when quite quick. Well, we're just going to do it right now. Then we are going to click the flag again. We're just fixing up some bugs with password protect. Then we will type in our username. There we go. And the saves is a bit glitchy sometimes because it will like bug out, but that's just slow internet. Then we are going to sign up again with the same username and we will see if the password protect will recognize it. And it didn't. We're going to have to set the check to zero. Okay. Then we will try again. Really weird how the check just starts going up like crazy. Letter check of saves. So we are going to have to put in some bug fixing stuff here. And see if it works. So this says four, okay. But as you can see, the password protect is being kind of weird, which I know why. Letter check of saves, okay. And then it stops saying anything because we've gone over the top limit. Okay. Then I will try again. Okay. 
and then it will put my name out here and the password protect will go 411416615 and then the check encounters a zero hopefully and it will stop the script. No, it didn't for some reason. Okay, we are going to, hmm. it did equal username calculate. So we're going to say, because sometimes stuff can be a bit glitchy and you just have to figure out how to get it to work in Scratch. Like this should work. At least I think. So four, one, one, four, one, six, six, one, five, five. There we go. And then it will say false because it added the zero. Okay. And we're going to also want to check plus one to fix this problem. Here we go. And we'll test it one more time. Four, one, one. Four, one, six, one, five. Okay, so now it says true and it stops the script because it sees that I've entered the same username as someone else. <clears throat> And it will say someone, someone has already e entered this username. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to take out these. And put this here. And what we're going to want to do here is say, you have entered an invalid character. Okay. So now we'll go down, then I will type in the name and see if it works. And then we'll type it out. Someone has already, oh, I accidentally spelled that wrong. Probably just pressing on the wrong key because the T and the Y are right beside each other. Okay, so as you can see, that worked. But you're going to want to try it again. And we are going to enter like a different name, like STU. And then it will log us in again, right? Then we'll try and do STU and see if it recognizes it. Okay, that's good news. So it protected the other person's password too. And we are going to just clean the saves variable because the sign up part of our thing is completely done. And now we are going to make another sprite. And this one will say login. Okay. Drag that there. Do that and put in our login. There we go. And make it smaller. Here we have it. So scripts, events, when this right clicked, data set length to zero. Set check to zero and set calculate to zero. And sensing ask, what's your username? Name. Well, we already have a name. And then we are going to want to go into our sign up and repeat length of answer. Just take that right out of there because we are doing the same conversion here in the login. And then we are going to 
go back into our sign up and we are going to take this okay actually we should probably just take the whole thing because it runs on the same principles as the scanner there we go and instead of password protect we're going to make another variable called user name check okay we are going to use our username check and username check then we are going to do username check equals that and we are going to take out the save setter and we are going to want to that uh do all of that okay that seems to be good username check here if then say say hello and log them in but what we're going to want to do is or we are going to do username check operators equals data username calculate okay so now we have that all worked out yep I think that should work then we will sign up again there we go then we will log in it didn't set our username calculate to backspace so we're going to want to do that too okay and set our username check to backspace and we're going to log in and for some reason it keeps kind of bugging out oh username check in here not calculate there we go it says hello and we are in so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a list called data and it gets pretty easy after this point so we are going to want to add backspace to data and add backspace to data events when flags clicked okay and we are going to data add back add actually instead of just changing it by 20 data change actually there's something kind of wrong i'll go back and check it yeah there is data change check by one and we'll repeat 20 times repeat 20 times okay so now we are going to put that in there add a letter check plus one of saves we are just going to want to add letter check of saves to data and put that up here actually we are going to want to switch the order then put this in here and we should all be good delete all of data here actually move this over here okay log in D -A -M -O -N. hello it will say and it's not doing it correctly so we're going to want to replace item one of data with letter check that but we are also going to want to join that was item one of data okay there we go and you will see that our data kind of fills out but not really correctly 
because we didn't actually fix this one up here. Type it in. Hello, it will say. And then it will give us the rest. But what we are going to want to do is we don't actually want this recorded into the data. So we are going to just thinking because I've done this a lot before but can't really remember how I did it last time. Actually Yeah, this is what we're going to want to do. We are going to do control if then, right? Operators not this. Okay, so we'll do it again. As you can see, it recorded down the first part, but not the second part, which is what we want. Then we are going to want to go here data repeat until operators length of saves check equals length of saves data set check to zero actually no we don't want to do that and we are going to want to make a variable called end of name set end of name to check and change check by one and replace item two of data with and we will want to actually just duplicate that whole thing over item two there we go and that is set check to end of name after this to end of name there we go and now we can start loading our variables so we're going to make one called increase okay and this isn't actually going to be a game if you want to see me making a game around a saving system like this go check out my man versus balloon series because I make a game in that. The first episode doesn't have any saving stuff. It just has creating a title screen with an awesome little mini game. But go check it out if you want to see a game getting created with a saving system like this. And we are going to want to repeat eight times. Data set increase to operators join data increase and we're going to change check by one and letter check of saves okay and we're going to do that so now what we are going to want to do is we're going to make a list called save okay and this is our list that we're going to be saving into also. And it's going to have, let's see here, six items. So we're going to want to repeat six times. Add backspace to save. Events when flag clicked. Okay, then after here, we are going to want to data change increase by one and change it by minus one okay so it will kind of turn it into an actual variable and we are going to want to replace item data make a variable actually we are going to want to cancel that set length to zero put that right up here and repeat six times data 
change length by one. Okay, and replace item length of save with operators repeat twice here data change check by one and we are going to want to go down with operators join and we are going to drag this in item length of save okay so that should all be good as you can see it generates good login e a m o n there we go and it will say hello and then our increase should have gone oh yeah because we have our safeguard on it so that fully worked okay now we are going to want to hide all of these okay just hide it all and we are going to want to go at the end uh well right here we are going to hide it and events broadcast new message hide okay and events when i receive hide looks hide Okay, so now we're going to data show variable increase and show list. And where is it? And no, save. Is there such thing as show list? I don't even think so. So we are just going to show variable increase. And we're going to make that a slider so they can change it. And the save won't do anything. It just kind of proves that we can save a list with this system. So now we are going to want to put one flag click show. Okay. And then we are going to want to click log in it will say hello then you can change your increase but we have to make a save button okay uh, we are going to make a save and my mom kind of just walked in and probably breathed all over the microphone, so I apologize for that. There we go. And events, when this break clicked, data set saves to operators. Join data item one of data. Okay, operators join zero, and we are going to want to go back into here, just at the same, and we are going to data change check by one. Okay, then we are going to go back to saves, join zero, data increase, operators join. And we're going to drag out a bunch more joins until we have six spots. So as you can see, we now have six spots and item one of save, item two of save, item three of save, item four of save, item five of save and item six of save whoops okay there we go 
and we are going to want to do operators join actually no uh, data item of data where is it item 2 of data but before we save it we are going to want to change it into a saving system friendly format so we are going to do repeat eight time if then actually we're going to want to do repeat operators minus data length of data increase operators minus Data set increase to data operators join data increase and zero. Okay, and then we will repeat six times here. And inside of here, we will repeat twice. Oh, actually, data make a variable checker k r two set checker 2 to 0, change checker 2 by 1, okay, item checker 2 of save, replace item checker 2 of save, operators minus 2, length of, okay, and then we're going to do 2, Minus that and data replace item checker two of save. Whoops, just deleted that of save with operators join data uh, data item checker two of save two of save and zero. So now what should happen is you see our saves up here. It should go to 1547. Yeah, that works ish. But what we're going to actually want to do is do zero here. Okay. And the saves wait just got a lot, lot, lot longer. And we're going to set saves to zero. And we're going to sign up. Okay. Actually, we accidentally set the saves to the wrong thing. Sorry. Saves to backspace. Sign up. Okay. And then it legs like a lot. And my login didn't show up for some reason. And we are going to want to events when flight clicked show. And we are going to do type in our name. Hello, it will say. Then we go in. And we are going to want to, when flight clicked, data set increase to zero. And for the saves, we are going to want to join zero and increase. And we're going to want to flip this. There we go. Log in. Hello? We'll say, then we go in here, give, put that up, save it. It kinda didn't, well, it did work, it did work. Okay, so now we're going to go out, click on our login, P-A-M-O-N, click enter, it will say hello, 
and our increase went to 37 so that's good and just to show you guys that this isn't like a gimmick or anything like as you can see we have our cloud data but we're going to save now go out and then go back into our scratch tab just save it again because we really don't want to lose this exit out go back to our scratch this is one of the other projects i've made and i just clicked on it for some weird reason anyway that project loads like really really slowly file go to my stuff there we go saving system go into it and what we are going to want to do is click the flag and then log in with your name whatever name you had hello it will say and then back to 37 so as you can see you can log off the browser for however long you want and it will still save all of your data okay and that is it for now like comment share and subscribe and if we can get 10 likes I'll post another video like this. Okay, that's it for now.